In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each atom here in Cr2O3, chromium-3 oxide. We use these general rules to help us find the oxidation numbers. So looking down the rules, we can see that oxygen here is almost always minus 2, with a few exceptions. So we know that each of the oxygen atoms, there are three of them, each one's going to be a minus 2. So if we add all the oxygens up, we have a minus 6. Chromium, you're not going to see it on this list here. We're going to have to use this information and this subscript here to figure out what the oxidation number is for each chromium. So we know that if we have a neutral compound, and this is neutral, that all the numbers have to add up to zero. So if I have a minus six here for all the oxygens, the chromiums, they're going to have to be a plus six. So when I add these up, I get zero because it's a neutral compound. That means two times some number will give me plus six. 2 times plus 3, that's plus 6. That means the oxidation number for each chromium is plus 3. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the ones we knew, in this case the oxygen, and with that we could determine what the oxidation state or number for the chromiums are. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for Cr2O3, chromium 3 oxide. Thanks for watching.